Hey guys, I want to try something a little bit different today. I'm going to do a bit of a let's play on this alpha, 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 alpha test build here. So if you're not familiar with Shadowwood, um, let me be very clear. This is not the full game. This is not anywhere close to the full game. Um, what I've got here is basically a bunch of mechanics that I've kind of combined into a, a little mini game of sorts. Um, uh, but I'm going to be releasing this as a solo, um, a solo uh, player game in a week, and then probably about a month later, depending on how things go, I will be releasing essentially the same thing, only with the online multiplayer. So you can play this with your friends or um, random strangers, more likely. But uh, the point of, of this release is to kind of get a, a, a little bit of feedback on how people feel um, in VR. This is a, a VR game, by the way. Um, playing this game and uh, if there's bugs with the mechanics or anything like that, any kind of feedback is, is useful. Um, and then, as I said, the follow-up to this will be the online multiplayer and then... Um, see how the uh, see how that works and then after that we'll, I'm gonna start expanding into the the full game and there's a lot to do for that but um, one step at a time and this is the first step so uh, today what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play this for a little bit and give you guys a little taste of what this is and as I go I'll kind of explain what's going on some of the mechanics that this game uses and um, uh, some of the ideas and stuff that I'd like to put in there in the future and be interested in hearing your guys feedback on some of those ideas so let's get going here so um, I gotta actually click on well I'm gonna switch to make this full screen here um, oh uh, the reason I'm not full screen actually real quick before I get into too much is if you follow the devlog you know that uh, a couple weeks ago what I did is I made it so you can without going into the menu switch from VR to the traditional monitor without having to to uh, go into a menu but uh, the problem is that uh, if you can see that see here ye, uh, I was going to say Unity, uh, Steam recently added this controller functionality for their menus, which is all well and good. The problem is that the same button that I'm using to swap between VR and traditional monitor is the button that brings up the Steam menu now, the Steam VR menu. So that's kind of a pain in my ass, to be honest with you. Um, I'm gonna, so I, I basically had to remove that feature. Uh, it is now going to be in the menus, at least for the time being, unless I can uh, figure out a better way to do it. But uh, it's definitely going to be in the in the menu. Um, uh, at the moment, it is not going. It's not in the options menu here because this isn't functional at the moment. The in-game options menu is functional. But uh, let's let's uh, get rolling here. So I'm going to switch from this to this, and so uh, the only thing that is functional on this screen right here is the solo play at the moment, which takes us into our character select screen. There are three characters at the moment. We've got Sergeant Calder, uh, Betty Poyle, and Cindy Poyong. Now for the solo play, I would recommend at the very least you start with Sergeant Calder. Um, the main reason is because he starts with a pistol, which is going to be very useful. Basically, the uh, game at the moment is just a bit of uh, a horde type of mode. So there's going to be waves of enemies spawning in. Um, we'll get to that in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with our friendly police officer here. And then I just click on this LAN host to start the game. And I need to, right now you can see this is the 2D monitor, so I'm gonna bring up the menu here and then hit VR enable. And there we go, we're in. Um, 
so it should it should automatically center your game based on your uh, where whatever direction the uh, and wherever in your play space your VR headset is when you enable it. You can also hit the space bar to recenter it. So now I'm turning to my right and it recenters it there. I turn my head back and it recenters the centers it there. I'm gonna try and keep my head kind of tilted to the to the right so that the left eye is kind of centered with the character here so it shows up kind of centered on your screen. Um, so what, what I'm trying to do here is I'm gonna equip my pistol because we're gonna have wolves spawning in here in about a minute. What we're trying to do is we want to find the altar. There should be one spawning spawned in somewhere around the map. Oh, in fact, I walked right past it. There it is, right there. Kind of sneaky hidden there. Uh, and we want to find a torch and light the altar. And then, oh, we got wolves incoming. I heard their footsteps. Is there just two? Looks like there was just two. So they're going to spawn in. Uh, there's a range of time, but it's, I think, about a minute to a minute and a half. Uh, and what we're looking for is, because the uh, altar was blue, we're looking for a blue fern, and we're looking for a torch. And once we do that, that'll move us on to the second level, and we'll get a new altar, and a, we'll need to get a new color, probably. Um, what we got here? We got a second pistol. We'll go ahead and grab that, because we got limited ammo. Although, here is an ammo box right here, so maybe I'll swap out my second pistol. And then we got wolves inbound again. Some kind of bug with the uh, aimer there. I'm not sure what was caught. What's yeah, right there. To figure out what's causing that. I that's a new bug. I just noticed that uh, today. Um, so you can reload. You can combine certain things. So I can combine this ammo with this ammo. Let's leave this one bullet here. I can just go ahead and throw that into my gun. Um, and then you can also reload. There's a reload button. I use a PlayStation 4 controller. Um, so it's just the circle button. There's no no audio sound, but if I... Uh, audio sound. <laughs> Those are the best kind of sounds, aren't they? Audio sounds. Um, there's no uh, audio file for the reloading at this point. Um, Got to kind of keep a move on here because those wolves are going to be spawning in again. In fact, there they are. There's one. Nope, there's two. Just kind of searching the tall grass here. Ooh, there's another one. The wolves will uh, occasionally spawn items. Okay, we got a blue blue fern. So that's good. We just we just need a torch then. How are we doing on ammo? We're doing okay for the moment. Um, you can see the the circle around my character's feet there. Uh, there's two circles. There's the green and the blue. The green is the health. So we're Sitting pretty with full health, and then our stamina meter is the blue. Ooh, the hunting rifle. I'm gonna grab that. We got wolves spawning in again. So the pistol takes two shots to kill the wolves. The hunting rifle. What we got? Ooh, a torch. Okay. I'm gonna drop the pistol actually. And then. Ooh, gotta reload. The, the hunting rifle can only hold one bullet at a time, so you gotta reload it every time. Is that it? Okay. So we can kind of remember that there's a pistol over there if we need it. Now the downside to the hunting rifle 
is that you can't hold a secondary item at the same time. There's another blue fern, but we don't need that anymore because we got one already in our inventory. And the uh, altar was kind of over by our lamppost over there. There's a couple of landmarks here in this. Oh, there was a blue fern right here. But we had to go get the torch anyway, so it's okay. Uh, the lamppost is one of oh, the wolves. I, I just... Uh, I'm not sure it's causing the aimer to go haywire there. That's for me bringing it up, but something I'll have to look at. Um, well, there's another one incoming. I heard his footsteps. Okay, so now I'm gonna light the uh, light the altar, and then we'll set set the flame to blue, and that advances us onto the the next level so now we should okay I can already see it spawned not too far away uh, every time you put a, a torch into the into an altar it'll spawn a new torch around the map additionally completing there's a flashlight somewhere where is it there it is I should uh, reload my gun though all right so we got the flashlight going now, and we need a white fern. There's some batteries too. Uh, our flashlight's actually kind of low, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those batteries into there, and now you can see it's nice and bright. Got a couple of axes. Okay, we got a white fern right here. I'm just gonna put that a little bit closer here so it's easy to see. But we gotta find another torch. The pistol. I'm gonna keep on. Keep on. Oh! There's a ghost wolf there for a second. I think that wolf was too far away. Kind of low on ammo. I wasted some shots there. Um, so, as far as the, the long term, um, like I said, this this right here is just kind of temporary for the the fun of it, something to to play around with. But the ultimate goal is to have a a large area to explore to try different things um oh here we go there was a torch i'm just gonna go ahead and use a torch i'd rather save the battery on the flashlight because the flashlight i can keep the torch i'm gonna lose in a minute here uh i mentioned before the goddamn wolves Um, I mentioned before there's a couple of uh, landmarks in our map here. This uh, tower is, is another one. So if you're trying to communicate with your teammates, uh, that's a point of reference. There's the, there's the altar. And that altar is going to be important here in a second. Let's put this in here. This should get us. Oh my! That I, in theory, that number should be aiming towards me, but uh, that's uh, something I got to fix. It was 
it was uh, set up properly, but I had to do some adjustments with the cameras and stuff that got knocked out of whack in the meantime. All right, so now we actually got to find a knife. We got a couple of crates here, which is good, but we can't open these crates without a knife. So what we're looking to do every third uh, level uh, is a crate level. Now you're trying to find the ruby that gets placed into our tower here. So we need a knife to open up the the crates with. And then inside one of the crates it should have spawned a knife. Um, there may have randomly been one already in there anyway. In, in the level here, but uh, it should have spawned one in somewhere upon the completion of that last altar. Got to keep my eyes open for uh, wolves. Oh, there's a knife. Okay. How much ammo? We do not have a lot of ammo, and there's wolves incoming. Let's head back. There's uh, three crates spawn in. One of them is going to have ammo. One of them is going to have nothing. And uh, this one's apparently got nothing. That oh, fucking wolf. And he dropped an axe. The axe is a good melee weapon. There's all kinds of axes. <laughs> um, it's there's two melee weapons at the moment. There's the axe and then there's the knife. Where was that other crate? I know it was around here somewhere. We just happened to find the one that didn't have anything in it. How did I walk past it? Alright, so. Alright, and there's our jewel. Our ruby. drop the ammo for a moment there's only one bolt left but uh, now where was the tower we got to get to the tower we got three wolves incoming it looks like and only one bullet so he t he gave he damaged me there uh, I, I have not implemented the uh, damage taking uh, animation for the characters yet. Here's our tower scene. If I had known exactly where it was, I could have, the, if you, when you finish a level, it will uh, kill all on-screen enemies. So you can see like there the, the number uh, is facing me. That's what it should have done on the uh, altar there as well. So now we're back to an altar level. Um, there should still be a crate around somewhere that's got ammo. Um, I'm actually going to pick up one of these axes and drop the knife, because the axes are better than the knife. I needed the knife to open it. Ah, shoot, I want to get that ammo. I'll drop the uh, knife once I find that other crate. I'm trying to uh, keep the camera centered for you guys it makes me have to tilt my head to the right a little bit because it uses the left eye as the uh, camera for output to the monitor and we are theoretically looking for the altar and we'll need a fern of some sort now the first I believe uh, four altar levels. It's just going to be. Uh, oh. Is this. Uh, let's switch to that. 
the axe is more powerful. I think it's um, two hits with the axe. The animation on the cop's swing is a little wonky. It's like combining two animations for some reason. And there's a torch. We need that. Oh, what do we get rid of? I guess we get rid of the flashlight. Yeah, because then we can use the torch. Don't know where this altar is yet. Oh, I think I see it. Okay. The, uh... No, it spawned inside of my crate. The, uh... Let's, uh... Get rid of that. We got more wolves incoming. over there. They're almost out of that axe, so I might as well switch. I think my ammo box is inside there. Or I might have lost the ammo box because it spawned inside of the, uh, the the altar spawned inside of there. So I'll, I'll show you this. So we got med kits in this game that uses a, a bit of a different mechanic. I'm curious to see what people think of this. So if I equip my med kit, I kind of still want to keep looking for a... Okay, there's there's one. I'll, you know what I'm going to do here? Is I'm going to drop my knife. I don't need that anymore. So if I, if I have the med kit, my secondary action um, for for secondary items um, will uh, give me a boost there. You see my uh, health went up a bit, but now it'll I'm gonna kill him off by finishing off the level. Yeah, so the altar's um, number display, level display does not face me properly. I have to fix that. Um, But I, I once you you use a med kit, you will slowly gain health if you uh, watch carefully. I'm, I, it is creeping up. Um, so I you can have up to four uses of your med kit with one med kit, depending on however uh, many uses it spawns in with. So you can kind of preserve them, or you can if I would use it again, it would bump it up. Uh, well, there's some ammo. We need. We desperately need that. If you got ammo, you're in pretty decent shape here. Okay, let's reload. It's another med kit. Can actually combine med kits too. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to grab this. So I can combine this with the other med kit. Now we've got three uses in that one med kit. Might as well carry that axe just in case. Sounds like we got wolves incoming. One shot and he's down. Some more ammo. As long as I got ammo, I don't really need the axe. And you can see I'm I'm up to full health now. So you have you have the option to um Kind of hold on to your med kit uses, or you can kind of, if you're really low on health, if you use, let's say you have four, you can use them all, and that'll get you probably a little bit more than halfway, and then you will also heal faster as well. Um, so if you're in a real dire situation, you can use them all, or you can kind of spread them out and potentially give yourself more health. Now you will stop healing. Not sure where this altar is. Should be looking for an altar still. Oh, we got you coming. You can hear the wolves will uh... Oops, I forgot to 
to reload. Uh, got stuck on a tree, I think. The wolves will occasionally snap twigs when they walk. There, okay, there's our there's our altar. We don't have a torch, though, do we? We do have the uh, proper fern here. I'm gonna drop my med kit. I plan on making it so you can heal your teammates as well. That is not something that I have ready to go at the moment. Let's go ahead and drop that fern here. And we'll get lucky and there'll be a torch over here. There's our pistol we left before. The nice thing about the pistol is you can have there's another white fern. You can have it and a torch or flashlight out. I thought I heard him. So, um... What do we got there? A flashlight? We'll go ahead and grab that. Because that guy was by himself. Uh, that wolf. The uh, the wolves will n probably not be in the final game. Here we go, here's the torch. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop this ammo. I'm going to keep the flashlight for the time being. we got enough ammo, I think, for a while. save the what I'd like to do I don't have the stamina for it so if you run completely out of stamina you have to let it charge back up I'm not gonna make it what I'd like to do there is uh, I'm not sure what's it's just me not pressing the trigger in enough uh, to aim you have to hold down the trigger, but I'm not sure if I just wasn't pressing it enough or if it's glitchy or what, but um, what I would have liked to have done there is to been able to make it to the altar and then finish finish the altar here, but I knew I wasn't going to get it without getting hit, so um, what I could do, and maybe I will do, is... Um, It's a tough call. What I what I could do is I could kind of save this fern, um, do a little bit of exploring, and then if the wolves show back up, I can drop it in there. But I feel like I'm not going to get very far in exploring because they're going to spawn in by the time I get anywhere. So maybe I'm just going to go ahead. And, oh, look at that. He's going a long way around. Should be able to get it in. Whew. Alright. I think we're on to a crate level now, so we're gonna need a knife. Gonna reload my gun now. Yeah, if you uh, you can see there, the uh, my stamina went completely out, so it uh, needs to recharge, and it shows red until you get to a certain point. I think it's like 33% or thereabouts. So we're looking for crates now. What was that? A torch? Now uh, let's go ahead and swap out to the torch. The wolves will probably not be in the final game. It's possible they might be in there in some form, but uh, uh, if you follow the devlog, you know that uh, the plan is to have completely unique monsters. Uh, what this game is really going to be is is what I'm th what I'm I've kind of come to term a, a monster park. 
So your goal is to search through Shadowwood Valley. You're looking for a lost girl, a girl who's gotten lost in the woods, and you're trying to uh, rescue her. But uh, within the within Shadowwood Valley is a whole bunch of. I still got. I was gonna com probably combine that with my existing ammo, but uh, I got so much. Yeah, you can only have up to 25, so there wasn't really a whole lot to combine. So I'm just gonna leave it. Um, like I was saying, you're tr you're trying to find a, a little girl. There's a crate. Break out my knife so I can pry it open. It should have, should be popping up further. I'm not sure why it's not. Uh, apparently, it was empty anyway. Um, but uh, in the uh, altars that you see in this, uh, I don't know if they're going to be exactly the same. But uh, there's a ruby. Um, I'm gonna. There should be another crate somewhere around with the. Uh, uh, I was going to try and make it to the tower, but I don't think I'm going to make it without taking some damage. So as long as you ha have the ruby in your inventory... Oh, I got a bug here. It should... It should recognize, so... I guess this is going to be end of this Let's Play. <laughs> um... It should recognize that you have the ruby. I think it's there a bug to do with uh, uh, having already done it and it not resetting. So um, that'll be something I have to fix before next week. Probably I'll work on that as soon as I get done here. Um, maybe what I'll do is I will um, quit this I'll have to restart the game I don't have a, a way to uh, just go back to the main menu at the moment so let me start it up again I'll, I'll play as a different character for a little while and kind of keep chatting about uh, what's what's to come All right, now my uh, I have to off to reset my VR headset. So I'll switch to to Cindy here, who is the newest character. She starts with a flashlight. I'm actually gonna leave the headset off for a while. Just play with the uh, regular old screen here. So it's significantly brighter. Uh, on a traditional screen, so it's probably uh, didn't look that dark. I mean, it's it's a dark game, obviously, but it probably didn't look t as dark to you guys watching me play before uh, as it is in in the headset, which which is what I want. I want it to be hard to see without a flashlight and without a torch. Um, you guys can give me feedback on what you think if it's too dark or not. Um, you can see here, like Cindy, hold, probably I'm gonna have to lift up how she holds the flashlight because it's it's so low that it's getting blocked by the grass, but that's not a big deal. That's a pretty easy fix. Um, there's our altar way over there. Uh, you didn't get a chance to see it because of the issue uh, I had with the uh, ruby placement. But uh, right now, the first several... I really got to find a, a gun here, or a weapon at least, because I'm gonna get, just going to get murdered here in a second. Which is kind of why you don't want to play as Cindy in this mode right now by yourself. It's a torch. I can, I'll can. just do that. That'll buy me some time. I'll kill, kill off any wolves by completing the level. Yeah, they're incoming. I can hear them crushing twigs. I think. 
Unless that was just the, f the flame. Nope, 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 nope. It's not a bad idea to, uh, there's the next altar right there, <laughs> uh, keep on starting to say, but uh, the uh, the first couple of levels, the, all the altars spawn just a, a single color, so red in this case, which is just the color of, of a fern, but later on you would need to use combined ferns. So. Uh, go ahead and grab this ammo, even though I don't have anything to uh, use it with at the moment. Um, oh, sweet. Hunting rifle. Alright, now we should be good. Alright. So, you can... Uh, altar can be turquoise or purple. The ferns come in red, blue, green, red, blue, green, white, and yellow. So those are the kind of basic colors that an uh, uh, altar can be. But then you can combine uh, ferns to make different colors. Gotta find the next altar. And drop the batteries. Actually, maybe I'll combine the batteries with the flashlight. Might as well. Uh, pistol back here. We'll leave that. We got our hunting rifle. But, uh,. The, uh, these wolves keep interrupting me. The altars and the ferns are going to kind of be the basic basis of uh, the magic system. So you're going to be able to put ferns into lighted altars and then um, add additional items and uh, for for instance like I said the werewolves will probably not be in the game but let's say they were um, if you killed a werewolf he would maybe leave behind a paw or something that you could then take and then add that to uh, an altar as, as an offering and that combined with uh, a fern uh, would create some some kind of uh, effect on the world or on the characters. Um, I still have yet to figure out all of the possibilities and all the things that I want to happen. And we got incoming. They for some reason want to go around that tree. Which is fine by me. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically going to be a game of, of exploration and um, figuring, puzzle solving, figuring out how to get into different areas and um, all kinds of stuff like that. It's, it's going to be somewhat inspired by games like Resident Evil Outbreak. Um, I definitely want uh, teamwork and cooperation to be a, a big factor in um, surviving. One of the ideas that I have, and uh, this is I'm interested in what people's thoughts are on this, is do I have a torch? Yeah, I do have a torch. And they're incoming, so I might as well toast them. See, the, the two stays uh, aimed at the monitor camera, but the, it does, it's not lining up with the VR headset. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this so I can kind of finish my thoughts. But uh, one of the ideas that I had was uh, having it so that if you play as a character and your character dies in the game, that you will lo lose access to that character for a set amount of time. So let's say 24 hours. Because I want to create some tension and um, more more of a sense of risk if you you know venture really far into there there's a greater risk that you're not getting out um, um, and maybe create some incentive to um, exit the game before you've completed the the task um, because it's less risky and and you can build up points there's I plan on having a lot of unlockable stuff, unlockable characters and items and stuff. Um, and you would, you know, get points by accomplishing certain in-game uh, tasks, such as killing certain monsters and um, finding different things. Um, so there's incentive to um, explore, but also that there's there's some real risk in exploring and that you would lose access to a character. So if you go into the game as Sergeant Colder and um, you get killed along the way, he's he's dead for 24 hours or a certain amount of time, um, but then you gain access. So uh, regain access to him after that amount of time. Um, I kind of like that idea, but I also am aware that that's going to turn some people off because um, they just want to keep playing as their as their favorite character. But uh, uh, let me know what you guys think about that. And the plan is still for uh, next Wednesday, the February twenty eighth, to have have uh, this what you just saw only with some of the bugs fixed. Um, available and let me know how you uh, how comfortable it is for you in VR. For me, it's it's comfortable, and I've tried it with a couple of friends. Uh, one of them was not comfortable at all with the movement. The other one was fine. Uh, I'm curious how other people feel. Let me know if playing it out outside of VR, so just on a standard screen for a while, and then maybe p trying VR afterwards, after you've played it for a while, if that makes any difference. Um, but yeah, just uh, let me know how things work out for you, and any thoughts on on mechanics or gameplay or any anything like that. Um, but uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, and we will see you guys uh, at the next devlog.